Hello everyone and welcome to my next adventure actually. And in this adventure I'm actually going to talk about what else I'm going to be doing. And how else I'm going to be doing other things. So right now you guys are seeing my, uh, by, by the way right now, how I am and just like clumpy a little bit. But that will change later. I'm planning on changing this into something that is muscular. That is not that anymore. <laughs> So uh, how am I going to do that? It's going to be a different kind of thing. So I'm going to try one thing for it. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So I'll try it for a year or so. And I'll see you guys will see the results of my videos that I'll be doing around here. So uh, I'll be uh, just starting uh, tomorrow. or not tomorrow though, but maybe like 12, 13, not maybe. Just like 13, 14 days from now or so, and then I'll be actually trying this new supplement uh, called uh, leptin. And it's actually a supplement that actually controls the weight loss for all that and all that kind of stuff. So it's really good, in other words. <laughs> leptin is super good for you. I would say if you're not taking the supplement, I would suggest just take the supplement. And uh, you'll start seeing that there's no more weight gain anymore. And uh, of course, you try to sneak it by somebody or something like that if you're not really knowing what I'm talking about or if you're a person that doesn't really like to take pills that much or this is actually for your own good. For If you actually need these kind of things, then yes, it's for your own good. And then if you don't need them and you're already in shape and everything else, then it's fine. <laughs> and then uh, this is like a, another tip or something or... Another kind of thing that this is a tip for those who want to be in shape, and this is a, a one-way ticket to actually do that. So, the, but that's not really a one-way ticket. It's just that that's just another way of doing it. And there's multiple different ways of losing weight, but some of them don't work more than others. So the second three, uh, uh, the uh, yeah, it's the second three uh, fat burner pill kind of thing. I've been taking that for a year, and that has not changed much at all. And actually, I've been taking it for a while, for about like two, three weeks or so. And I actually, as soon as I, I'm off of that, actually. And now this actually starts to go back up again, just by like five or six pounds, even ten pounds, actually. Five to ten pounds. So, uh, or even fifteen more, like, uh, actually. And so I was trying to get to 170. Uh, pounds, but then I am back up to now like 182, but then that will, it fluctuates from there. From that kind of weight to other kinds of weight. So uh, it goes up and down from uh, where that is there. So uh, that's just how I work there. And I actually work very differently to where it's like I am very heat sensitive to the heat outside. Uh, like uh, if it's like 81 degrees and above, I don't really like it too much. Uh, then that's when it starts to get too hot for me. <laughs> and then I, I can handle it for a little bit 81 degrees if it's not humid. If it's not humid outside, then yeah, I can handle that. Other than this, uh, other than the, the that kind of thing here, I'm, I'm all good. So there's uh, also, like I said, not only that I'm talking about, I'm going to be working on other projects for you guys also as well. So be prepared to see these projects actually in action of what else I am actually, like it's basically an air conditioner unit that you put in a costume and that is mobile. Hey, you can just walk around with it. <laughs> so you don't overheat when you're exercising in an inflatable costume, as a matter of fact. This goes for anybody who actually has an inflatable costume. So, uh, and you guys, of course, know what I'm talking about because it does get hot in that. It, it gets a little hot, but it doesn't get that hot. And not, not, not as hot as you think. So, not overheat kind of hot. But there is actually a, a blower system. That's why I'm going to make this blower system that this cooling blower system for that this type of special type of cooling blower system which is going to be about $90 you would have to have a $90 budget first of all for this project to even work for you and yes I'll show you how to build this is actually not that easy <laughs> uh, how to actually put everything all together and connecting the circuit the right way is actually also hard too because uh, you actually need to make sure everything's all perfect and, and aligned and Make sure that uh, it, you have to duct tape it the right way. If you duct tape it the wrong way and you have it touching each other, it's going to sort the circuit and then you got nothing for that project. Then there you go, poof, there goes some of your $90 gone kind of thing. So I've done that actually. I've done that multiple times. The 
short circuit uh, or short circuit of the circuits in general. So you don't want to mess around with circuits that actually. Well, you have to mess around with the circuits to be able to learn. All right. So I am not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying that it's, it's just more advice actually to know what you're doing before you try to do it and all that kind of stuff. And actually there's other, and this is like, the other videos that are over here are just to let you know that you can actually do that as well. But only with a certain kind of budget you can actually do these kind of things that actually I've been doing. And these are inventions that other people made, I just made it into my own thing. Prototype thing for right now and then later on I'm going to 3D print a actual blower system and actually make the whole entire thing come to life and having that one have like a, about over 190 CFM or something like that well over that I don't know <laughs> I would just have to angle the blades differently on that thing or the blade is actually the actual blower impeller on top of the impeller of the actual motor itself which the, the, that's what it spins and blows your air into your inflatable costume which Sometimes the usual orange mini blowers, I have to tell you guys, they are too cheap and made and not worth a buy. Not even at all. Because, uh, yeah, they can break any time on you. Just, uh, you can just take all the four screws out and you'll see what I'm talking about. It, it can. Some of them are in there very well and then others are that are like super too cheap. Uh, not in there very well at all. <laughs> and it's like, that means that's what it means uh, by too cheap. That's what I mean by too cheap is it means uh, like five dollars or so. If you get one for like five six dollars, then that's too cheap. You gotta get one that's like eight dollars or something like that, eight to ten or something like that. Well, even if it's six dollars, it still is reliable, but not reliable enough more than a month. No, it won't last you a month at all. That kind of thing will last you like twenty one days. After that, you're, you're done. You, then you gotta buy another one. And then the, the projects I'm actually doing will save you a ton of money and it'll last you a lot longer than what you actually would really spend on those actual blower systems for these inflatable costumes. So this is just a better idea, more better ideas yet to come, obviously, that I've mentioned here. So anyways, I hope you guys uh, liked this video and I hope it was really helpful to you guys and how to actually do these kind of things any other kind of questions actually you can feel free to comment down below over there and uh, then I will try to answer them in the best way I can or try to answer them as soon as I can uh, at the most earliest or best convenient time that I actually have so for you uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I would say uh, like this video if you haven't already like I said and I think I said that already but anyhow just see you guys next time <laughs> That's supposed to be a funny part.